Hi everyone, good evening. It is Mad Money Murph and it's time for our markets wrap up with Mad Money Murph on this Thursday, May 5th, 2022. Uh, what a bloodbath. Bloodbath. Wow. Unbelievable. Actually, it really is believable. Um, I talk about it quite a bit um, with my friends and family, but it's a it really is amazing to me how the markets, you know, one day could be spectacular and the next day, um, you know, unbelievably uh, down. Um, and it just seems to go up, down, up, down. It's, there's so much more volatility these days than, than there was here 10, 15 years ago. I don't know if that's the, the bots. I don't know if it's the retail uh, trader, the institutions. Um, not quite sure. I can't put my finger on it at this point, but it's amazing how volatile, you know, things are. Um, especially after yesterday, you know, everything was doing so well. But, all right, let's go through the top 10 cryptos. Bitcoin down a whopping 8.36% to 36,427. That's where it sits right now. Unbelievable. Um where that's how far that's gone down ethereum 6.57 percent down to 2739 tether again one dollar number three this is again just based on market cap so it just sits right up there based on market cap and how much is out there binance uh coin bnb sitting at 377 dollars and 51 cents down 6.11 percent uh the usdc again same one dollar it's um Sitting at number five, number six, XRP down to 59 cents, um, down 7.85%. Wow. And I had mentioned yesterday that I was hoping to buy a couple days ago before it rocketed up yesterday. And now it's down even more than it was then. Um, so it could be a good thing, right? I'm not a trader. I'm a holder. But uh, I still like to buy low and sell high, right? Uh, next, Solana at number seven is uh, sitting at $84.28, down 8.54%. Uh, Terra, $82.84, only down 3.77%. That one, I don't know why. Um, I haven't looked at it, but but that one hasn't taken as big of a hit. Um, Cardano, boom. Huge, huge losses. Uh, huge hit. Down 11.75%, almost 12% to $0.78. Cents. Um, I told you before, I do believe in that coin. I believe in the management. I do believe that that one's going to go somewhere. So, um, And then sitting at number 10 is uh, the Terra USD. Uh, again, $1. Um, we'll look at Doge. The old Doge. Boy, crushed. The Doger was down 5.32%. Uh, percent to uh just just under 13 cents 12 12.8 cents and uh the sheebs shiba inu was down 6.36 percent so just a complete bloodbath um i'm just looking through here in coin market cap one of the biggest uh losers that i can see just in the top 50 here ape coin down 13.26 percent uh, wow, these are just crazy numbers. So many of them down. Um, so many of them down double digits. It's just crazy. So that's the uh, cryptocurrency top 10 and plus a couple. Uh, let's go over to the stock market that just got absolutely crushed today. The Dow Jones Industrials ended up down 1,063 points uh, or 3.12% to 32,997. Um, the S&P 500 was down 153 points or 3.56% down to 41.46. And the NASDAQ down 647 points or 4.99%, so 5% in one day down to 12,317. Um, I look forward to one day in the future, say a year or two from now, seeing what those numbers are like. Um, and by the way, 
Uh, this is not financial advice. Um, this is just some some dude on YouTube telling you what he's doing. Um, we have not made any changes to our investing strategy in my wife's 401k, our um, Roth IRAs. They are all on autopilot. We are not touching any of it. We will continue to invest the same amount regardless of whether the market's high or low. Um, I'm a firm believer in dollar cost averaging and I know that um, by buying over time and keeping it keeping it even over time uh, will be the best bet. So just food for thought for you out there. Um, we are not making any changes whatsoever. If anything, um, as I've told you before, I would like to try to buy some more crypto during these dips. We, uh, I do not have that set up on autopilot like the, uh, like the stock investing. I just haven't gotten to that point yet. Um, even though we have quite a bit of money in there, I just haven't done it. But uh, let's look at a few of the headlines. Um, opinion, what is happening to the people falling for crypto and whatever, falling for it. It's, it's here to stay. It's going to be around. And there are a lot of use cases for every single one that, that I've mentioned. <clears throat> I, I don't know about some of the um, altcoins. Um, and so I won't speak on those, whether they do or not. But uh, the ones that I speak of have um, relevancy in, in today's day and age. Why did the Dow market watch? Why did the Dow plunge more than 1,000 points? Should I wait for stocks to sink lower? Here's what some pros think. Um, again, I'm not a financial advisor or planner or uh, giving financial advice, but I'm not gonna wait. I'm just gonna, just status quo, just keep going, right? Mortgage rates hit highest level since 2009. That's from CNN six hours ago. Um, and like I said before, you can expect those just to keep keep rising. Um, they're gonna get up there six, 7%. Um, I, I have a, a, a little bit of a conspiracy theory about it. Um, I have a feeling that they're raising, they're tight, they're uh, tightening. Um, the Fed is tightening and raising rates so that when stuff does hit the fan, they can, they can, um, it'll at least get, uh, there'll be an illusion that, that they have, um, something in their back pocket, like, uh, they can go back to quantitative easing and they can go back to lowering rates. Um, I think they're, they're way behind the ball on this, but I do think that that's what they're doing. I think that they're going to raise it as much as they can, um, tighten as much as they can so that they have at least a little bit, which to me, it's really not firepower, but it's going to, uh, they're going to show it off and give it off like it is because <clears throat> then they could, you know, start lowering interest rates again if the stuff hits the fan. So that's just my opinion, but we'll see what happens. Uh, what else here? Shopify acquires shipping logistics startup Deliver for $2.1 billion. Um, I haven't read the article, but I have a feeling that's just more about, uh, you know, competing with Amazon. Uh, all those companies should and, and they will uh, compete with Amazon. Um, Shopify is a big brand, a big name, and I really think that they will uh, they'll make a good go at it. Uh, what else here? Just a couple other quick ones. Um, Want to just go through, you know, Apple down five, uh, five and a half percent. Google down five percent. Microsoft almost five percent. Amazon down seven point five percent. Facebook, Meta uh, down almost seven percent, and Tesla down just over eight percent. So it was all over. They just got they just everybody just got killed. And I just see here real quick. Wow, Neo. Um, wow, Neo was down 15. I do own a little bit of Neo in a uh, in my M1 account, um, and that one just got crushed over the past year. It, it was down 15, just over 15 percent today. That's crazy. Okay, over to who? Gold and silver. Gold. Not much going on there. Um, I'm glad to see that it held. With uh, the bloodbath taken in the crypto and, and stock markets, uh, gold was only down about 20 cents, down to uh, $1,878.50. Could be a good buying range there. Um, so that's good to know that it didn't uh, it didn't follow the broader indexes. That's awesome. 
And let's see, silver, I just hadn't looked at these ones before I got on here. The same silver kind of held as well. Silver at $22.50, only down two cents. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad to see that 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 happening. Uh, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, if you got any value of it at all, please like and subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends. Um, watch every night. Watch every night. You'll get the quick recap of what's going on every every single night that the markets are open um real easy simple thing to do and uh um if you have comments comment comment below let me know what you're looking for if you're, if you're looking for something different than what i'm offering um you're looking for a certain stock that you want me to um go over every time or something anyways just like subscribe comment down below don't forget guys there's links in the in the description below for uh things that will help you um you'll get some you'll get some money back when you're opening a um couple of those accounts uh m1 finance uh voyager for crypto m1 is for stocks um and then also if you're looking for uh if you're looking to sell on amazon like i do uh there's a link down in the description below for that too so all right guys Take care. Glad to see you on this uh, Cinco de Mayo. All right. Mad Money Murph signing out. Thanks. Thanks. Take care.